This is Avoncliff between Bath and Bradford-on-Avon and I'm here to have a look at the aqueduct. Then I'm going to walk further down the Kennet and Avon Canal to see the Dundas aqueduct. After that I'll continue along the towpath to Bathampton and possibly a well-earned pint. The aqueduct is built from Bath stone and is 100 metres long and 18 metres wide and it carries the Kennet and Avon Canal over the River Avon. It was completed in 1801 and the engineer was John Rennie and we'll hear more about John Rennie later. Now, on to Dundas. This is Dundas Aqueduct, built by Scottish engineer John Rennie, who also built the Avoncliff Aqueduct. It was completed in 1810, and it's a magnificent structure. Let's take a look. Yes, it's that man again. So John Rennie was from East Lothian, Scotland, and in 1791 he moved to London and set up his own engineering business, which was soon involved in building canals. And one of the canals was the Kennet Navon, including the Dundas Aqueduct. So like the Avoncliff Aqueduct, the Dundas Aqueduct is also built from Bath Stone and carries the Kennet and Avon Canal over the River Avon. It's 137 metres or 150 yards long with three arches, the central arch spanning 19.5 metres or if you prefer 64 feet. It's also a junction between the Kennet and Avon Canal and the Somerset Coal Canal, although only a short stretch of the Coal Canal now remains.
Basket Bathampton and this is where I leave the towpath but um, it's been a really great walk hope you've enjoyed it thanks for coming see you on the next one Cheers all.